Hello lovely people and welcome to my Italian kitchen where I'm making spaghetti. So this is going to be a follow-up video. Uh, last week I posted a video about comparing two amplifiers. A B comparing with the relay switch. I explained the whole procedure and everything. And this is going to be like a summary of my experiences while I was listening to these two amplifiers. Just to recap very quickly, I have two different amplifiers. Both of them are four channels. And the main difference between them, not the whole difference, but the main difference is the level of THD. One is uh, this one is slightly has slightly more THD and higher floor noise. And this one is cleaner, objectively uh, measuring amplifiers. And I'm switching between them using a relay, instant switch, A, B, and I'm listening to music. I level matched them. Everything is like measuring perfectly. And this is my summary. So before I reveal the actual answer, uh, I would like you to stop this video and go in the comments and put yes, or no, depending if you think that I heard a difference or you think I didn't hear the difference. So if you think that there is audible difference between these two amplifiers, put a yes. And if you think there's no audible difference and they sounded exactly the same, put no. So for the big reveal, drum roll. Da -da 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 -da. There's no difference. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, it's, it's not surprising. The thing is, I expected this. And a little bit about how I tested and what I was listening. So I mainly focused on tracks <clears throat> because these two amplifiers are feeding my tweeters and mid-ranges. So my mid-ranges are playing from about like 180 hertz and tweeters up to 16K. And the tracks that I was focusing on had a lot of female vocals, some male vocals, guitars, pianos, and as a stress test, I put like heavy metal and heavy rock because we know that on metal and rock, there's loads of electric guitars that might sound harsh. And I thought like if you push an amplifier to its limits with a very like full recording full of all, all the notes, there might be a difference. But even on those tracks on full tilt blasting, I didn't hear anything. On medium levels, on low levels, there's no difference. I tested this amplifier against another one. Yeah, but that one has even a higher floor noise. But anyway, uh, I didn't hear any hiss. No, because I was expecting maybe this one produces a little bit of hiss on the tweeter when there's nothing playing, like, you know, background noise, but there's nothing. And literally, uh, when a singer is singing and you have like some songs have a prolonged note in between, like when during that note, I flip the switch to another amplifier and there's literally no difference. Like imaging, everything is exactly the same, exactly the same, absolutely no difference. So yeah, what did I learn doing this? That in my particular case, with my equipment, these two amplifiers, uh, different THD, different floor noise, there is no audible difference between them. Now, obviously, you can say, yes, your speakers are not good enough. Your system is not good enough. Um, yeah, I can agree with that. It's perfectly fine. There's no issue. And you're going to say, oh, you have all this wiring. It's a mess. It's interfering. Uh, the signal is not clean or whatever. Yeah, whatever. I didn't hear a difference in my system. So I don't have golden ears. I don't have musical training. But... There is no audible difference. The other difference is between the slew rate of these amplifiers, because I did manage uh, in between uh, last video and this one, I did manage to measure all the slew rates of these amplifiers. And the slew rate at 10 volts of output for this amplifier is 5 point something volts. And this is 11 volts. So basically this has twice as high slew rate compared to this. So even if the slew rate is affecting um, the high frequency reproduction or something, I didn't hear a difference between them. So to me, 5 and 11 sounds the same. The other thing is the power. So this amplifier, it doesn't have a lot of power. It's like 30 watts clean 
uh, per channel. And this basically, because I was cranking the volume all the way full tilt on some songs just to see if I can like bottom out this amplifier, if I can push it to distortion or something, but that didn't happen. That means that uh, as much power as this amplifier produces, about 30 watts, it's more than enough for a three and a half mid range because that's exactly what I have. For tweeters, obviously it's gonna be fine because tweeters don't take any power, but for the mid range, three and a half, uh, 30 watts, uh, it's not even going into clip because when you clip an amplifier, you could definitely hear the difference. And these two amplifiers are slightly different power levels. This one has much more power. So even if on full tilt, you would push the amplifier to its limits and you would hear that it's clipping, then there would be an audible difference. But even at full tilt, there was no difference. Probably there would be difference if I would put these on mid-bass drivers because mid-bass drivers would need more power, especially on fast transients. They would need more power uh, than 30 watts if you crank it up full tilt. But again, uh, for mid-range tweeters, I didn't hear the difference. I might test it on the mid bass because on the mid bass I have this amplifier that has much more power, but yeah, THD wise, it's not an issue at all. So now I have two options. Option one is replace this amplifier with a BBX. The BBX has much more distortion, much more distortion than this one, much more, uh, much higher floor noise. So it's like objectively much worse performing amplifier and compare this to this the other option is to replace both of them and have as i mentioned before in a previous video two amplifiers that have different uh distortion uh characteristics so one would be a uh, prominent second harmonic and the other one prominent third harmonic so i would like to hear what you think i should do so option number one Replace this with the BBX to have much more distortion. And option number two is to jump into different harmonics, second and third harmonic with different amplifiers. So I want to hear what you think, what you want to see. And this pretty much sums everything up because to me, on my system, uh, with my setup, speakers and everything, there is no audible difference. If you want to see detailed measurements of these amplifiers, uh, jump to Distortion Factory and check it out. You're going to see how they're different or watch the previous video where I analyze these amplifiers. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one.